There are little glands in the vocal folds that secrete a thin saliva-like mucus that actually washes over the vocal folds as they're vibrating. And this is very important to reduce the friction during vibration. When you're up there singing, your vocal folds are vibrating a lot. For guys, for example, when you're singing A, uh, the vocal folds are vibrating at around 220 times per second. And for the women, when you're singing an A, the vocal folds are vibrating at 440 times every second. So here's an A. When you sing an A for one second, your vocal folds have vibrated 440 times. Now, if you think about the amount of sound you're producing every night when you're singing, and then you do the, you do the math and you, um, you work out how many times the vocal folds are vibrating, it's a huge amount. So you want those vibrations to happen as easily as possible, just so that your voice will last really well and sound good. And um, one of the main, one of the really important parts of that is to make sure that there is as little friction as possible during vibration. So you want this thin um, saliva-like mucus to, to flow over the vocal folds and just make it easier on yourself. So if you look down at the vocal folds, you can actually tell if they're hydrated or not just by looking at them. With vocal folds that are not well hydrated, there is a thin ropey mucus and often stranding between the two folds during vibration. And when they're well hydrated, you see this mucus just blown in the wind, blown off the vocal folds. So you can, you can tell just by looking at them actually if the person's hydrated or not. 